How you doing guys? My name is Richard Akins from The Music Club and welcome to another installment in the Is Music My Life series. Now in today's video, we're gonna talk about the five, five key problems that musicians face. Yes, five key problems. Now whether you're a producer, an engineer, a songwriter, or an artist, we're gonna talk about the five common problems that those guys face when embarking upon their careers or their career paths. Now, just a key note, in order to sustain such a career, there are a few steps that are mandatory. When embarking upon a career in the creative industry, with the work that we do at the Music Club, we're constantly inundated with questions of how to overcome these five problems. Once again, if you are embarking upon a career within the creative industry, there are a few things that you have to do i.e. mandatory there are some steps that you're going to have to follow there are some things that you're going to have to do that you're not going to like that you have to do in order for yourself to progress or to achieve a level where you can sustain yourself you can pay your bills your rent your mortgage of strictly the thing that you do the best whether it be producing songwriting being an artist being a video director being an engineer whatever it is that you desire within the creative industry are going to require the following steps so without further ado let's get into it right so the first problem that a lot of musicians or creative people face when embarking upon a career within the creative industry is planning 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 is i'm not sure of what your idea of planning is but planning is very straightforward there are some templates in the description below. So be sure to download them or you can log on to our site and download the following templates. All of the information is in the description below. Now planning. Without a plan, I'm pretty sure you've heard this before. Without a plan, it's gonna be very hard to maintain a level of faith or a level of security, i.e. mental security or a level of consistency. Now, planning can be very, very simple. All you've got to do is get a sheet of paper, get your phone, you know, get notes on your iPhone or whichever Android phone you have, and simply stage one, stage two, stage three. It sounds boring, but if you break down all of your goals or all the things that you set out to do within a period of time, and literally write down step one okay if you're an artist and you're looking for music or instrumentals and you haven't met that producer yet or a producer that is willing to designate their time solely to creating a sound or creating something special for you you're gonna have to prove yourself and that might mean redoing or creating your own songs on other people's musics or backing tracks ie beats so stage one will involve, okay, I'm gonna search YouTube two hours a day and find the right beat, instrumental or composition that suits me as an artist. And I'm gonna write my best song on it. Don't worry, all you need is a phone. You have a voice recorder. It is free with the iPhone or Samsung or Android phone. And you can record ideas and you can send them to people so people can understand, i.e. producer. Now me as a producer, I'm always gonna wanna hear the artist before I get to work and say, okay, cool. I'm gonna make this type of sound for this particular person because I like the way they sounded on this. Do you know what I mean? You're going to have to prove yourself if you are an artist to inspire producers, music makers, or composers to create backing tracks for you. So literally your plan will involve Stage one, I'm gonna scour the internet for, for instrumentals. Stage two, I'm gonna write songs to those instrumentals. Stage three, I'm gonna try and i.e. book studio time or find a medium or a range or something to record it so I can start sending it to people. Now, number two, finance, i.e. or slash managing your money now this is a major major problem 
for a lot of budding or inspiring or upcoming artists as well as artists who are trying to sustain a career within whatever it is they're doing money 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 is a major issue yes it is a major issue that's why it's very 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 important that you understand planning the planning phase now you have to take the same approach with managing your money yes you do now finance is impeccably important you must manage your money just as well as you plan you have to project and find out and research how much things are going to cost now if you're a producer and you eventually want to have your own space you know you're going to have to you know do something that you don't want to do i.e get a job that you may not like doing in order to fund your creative the creative aspect because you're eventually going to want to get your own space and come out of the house so your parents or flatmates or whoever it is you know don't get cheesed off with you you know making noise all the time and different people coming in all of the time to book studio sessions you know so you're going to want to find and finance your own quarters oh before that you also want to get the equipment i.e software everything costs you know please see our other video about equipment in the description you know so you can assess the startup costs about how and what i must do to maintain my art what's gonna how much is it gonna cost to keep me producing or keep me making music you know or keep me filming or whatever it is that you're doing creatively how much is it gonna cost for me to maintain that cost and if i want to scale up and scale down how much is it gonna cost now for artists on the other hand there are additional costs you know if you're trying to build a look how much are the clothes or how much are the photo shoots how much are the music videos nowadays i think producers artists engineers um composers anybody that is out there trying to you know project or do things i think everybody now falls under the same boat so you have to really 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 be serious research every single piece of money you're about to spend you know you can download a budget a simple budget application on your phone and record how much things are going to cost and you can also project so within your plan stage four might be month three i'm going to spend 300 pounds on this 400 pounds on that do you know what i mean it's very essential to plan your budget and hopefully stick to it that way when you're meeting people or trying to court people to do some work for you you can say to them look i've got this budget so if they can't do it hopefully they may be able to refer you to someone or you can find someone who can do it for the budget that you're working with very important now number three the third problem that a lot of artists a lot of musicians tend to struggle with is building connections now as you're probably aware of who you know in this industry or this sphere is very important and it works and a lot of it does tend to work on the strength of relationships or building relationships whether you're a producer artist in x y and z and you find comfort in just being yourself and creating an x y and z there is going to come a stage where you're going to have to reach out you're going to have to present yourself you're going to have to introduce yourself you're going to have to network and you're going to have to meet people who are like-minded who may be able to help you along your way or along your journey just by providing their opinion their attention or their expertise a simple method that we use at the music club is we take a social application i.e let's look at instagram for instance now on everybody's instagram there is a message button it's very very simple all you have to do now if you're an artist and you have a song that you want people to hear all you've simply got to do is find 20 people you know that this could be a dj who works on a radio this could be a promoter that you know books artists for clubs this could be someone who works at a record label you know if your desire is that you want to be a signed artist 
this is what you're gonna have to do you're gonna have to literally message hey how you doing my name is X Y and Z I've got some music X Y and Z would you I would like to hear your opinion on it or would you think this music fits do you know what I mean try and avoid messages that ask people to give you something you know to give you something you know or to help you go here or avoid messages or you know emails or introductions or whatever you want to call it try and avoid those things that force people or ask people hey listen to my music i think i could go here and there 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 try and seek the opinion you know try and put yourself in a place where you're work in progress if you're unknown or you're just starting up you say look i've done some music it's a work in progress i'd be really grateful if you give me your feedback here's a two minute sample here's a one minute sample try and avoid lengthy tracks because people do not have the time nor attention just remember everybody is busy everyone is busy now no one hasn't got time to sit there and listen to full four minutes of anyone's track if it's just a 50 second sample of your track or your music to say hey how you doing you know and try and try and if you are making us if you are making a certain piece of music a certain genre you know for instance if you're making drill you know try and look up who the drill producers or the drill record labels or whoever it is try and look up those guys and present yourself hey how you doing i'm an upcoming artist from x y and z i've got a 50 second clip of you know two tracks or one track that i'm doing do you know what I mean? I reckon it can fit into X, Y, and Z. Try and be as relatable as possible. And I'm pretty sure you'll get some feedback. And once you have that feedback, keep it going. Keep the conversation going. You know, and before you know it, you could be out and about and someone could recognize you. And that could be the start of a budding relationship that will essentially help your music. Now the fourth issue or fourth problems that musicians slash producers slash engineers and so forth face is managing their mental health now this is a major issue managing your mental health is a major issue because of the strenuous the level of pressure that can happen now please do remember once you reach a certain level and your job is to produce things for public consumption it can take a toll on you if your feet are not fully on the ground you're not fully prepared i.e you haven't planned you're not managing your money you know you're not managing you know the things that you do on a daily i.e managing your life your mental health is liable to suffer now at the music club we deal with many cases where we're dealing with budding or inspiring or, up or upcoming musicians who are struggling with their mental health because a lot of things aren't in perspective and they may have a friend who's doing X, Y, and Z and they're now comparing themselves to people because they don't have a dedicated plan of action that they must follow daily. If you don't do the things we mentioned before, your mental health is liable to suffer. Now, most people say that musicians are at a higher risk of developing mental health issues than the general public because of the level of pressure especially for a lot of artists who are in situations who are signed to record labels where now it's a situation where the record label is demanding things from them so sometimes you might be able to sit down and it'll take you 12 weeks to make a you know a six track ep and then the label turns around and says hey this is not good enough and you have to go back and rewrite remake reproduce it does take a toll on you just remember <clears throat> you are making music for yourself you are creating for yourself but if you want to take it that step further you have to incorporate the opinions of the public and so it's very important to manage your mental health try and get into a routine where you're saying positive stuff affirmations and you're projecting taking time to plan out each day about what it is that you're going to do and how you can be effective now the fifth problem that musicians slash producers whichever tend to face is learning the game now learning the game is very straightforward you have to understand before you enter into a situation 
read the manual yeah there is a if you look at people in the creative industry sometimes you can devise and you can see that there is a specific pattern that some people follow yeah when you buy a car you're going to read the manual now there's this great book by donald s passman it says all you need to know about the music industry that's specifically for producers and artists but it does lay out the majority of the blueprints about what it is that you're most likely to face when embarking upon a career within the music field or the creative field so try and find literature that is relevant to your path it's very important to be well read so you are in a good position when it comes to negotiation i'm pretty sure you've heard the term you get what you negotiate so please try and learn as much as possible as it will only benefit you in the near future Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe also. Once again, my name is Richard Akins from The Music Club, signing out.